What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, and today we're going to talk about how to build a fan base off your music. Let's get it. Now, step number one and two are pretty simple. First of all, you want to enjoy making music. If you don't enjoy making music, it's never going to work out for you. A lot of people just want to drop music because they want attention or money. And once they don't get the attention they want and they realize how hard it is to actually make money off of it, they stop. So if you enjoy making music without money or attention, then maybe, maybe, maybe it's for you. The next thing you want to do is practice. You want to get good at making music. If you don't make good music, then your song will probably never be successful. So you gotta be good at making music to be successful in music. So we gotta practice. Find your strengths, find your weaknesses, find your voice, find your style. So make sure you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, it's never gonna work out. Make sure you practice because you need good music to be successful. Next, you wanna make sure you have good audio quality. I've seen a lot of dope artists, but their quality is not good. So it makes them seem a lot worse than they actually are. The average listener doesn't really understand mixing. All they hear is the final product. So if the mix isn't really that good, they're gonna think you're really not that good. So make sure your audio quality is up to par. So once you start dropping music, you wanna stay consistent. Consistency is key. It might be the most important part of everything. And this is where a lot of people mess up. I've heard so many dope artists on YouTube, Spotify, or whatever it is, and I go check out their YouTube or check out their Spotify, and they're dropping songs once every three months or even six months. I saw a stat somewhere, I forget where I saw it, but apparently there's 100,000 songs dropping every single day. If you want to be successful in music you must be putting out content at least one song a month at least one if not two again especially as an upcoming artist and a good way to do that is stack a bunch of music before your release this way you're way ahead of yourself even when i do these youtube videos i stack like eight videos and then i start putting out the videos this way i can stay consistent and i can make more videos so by the time i release the eight videos i have i have the next batch of videos to put out and as I mentioned in a video I dropped a couple weeks ago called Stop Dropping Albums, if you stack up at least 13 songs, that's a song every other week for six months. Then in between your drops, you could be doing promo for the last drop or the next drop. It's a good way to stay consistent and on people's timeline all year around. All right, so the next thing I wanna to touch on is your image. Now this might not seem that important, but it's pretty important. I used to think nothing of it, but you want to have a certain aesthetic to your image. You wanna stand out, you wanna be unique. Look at uh, Yeet. Yeet's always wearing that shysty mask. I honestly believe his image helped a lot with his success. Same with Tizo Touchdown. He has those like nails in his hair. He wears like hockey pads sometimes. 6ix9ine with the colorful hair. Now these are extreme cases. I'm not saying you gotta do all that, but you do wanna have a unique image. For an example, like a hat, this a regular t-shirt like I'm wearing, some jeans, like I'm, I have a basic fit on right now. But, you know, try to throw something together that stands out. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is promotion, promo. Promo is super, super important. A lot of people think they can just drop a song and they're gonna blow up and fans are gonna find them. You have to be spending hours and hours on promotion. This is pretty much a record label's whole entire job. But nowadays, we got the internet. That's why there's so many independent artists because we can do this stuff ourselves now. There's some artists out there that aren't even that good, but they have over 100K subscribers and they get tons of views because they're great at promotion. I've also seen artists that are really good, but they got 200 views and not that many subscribers because they don't promote themselves and they assume that they're so good, everyone's gonna find them. You wanna invest time and money into marketing yourself. Run YouTube ads, run Instagram ads, DM people. Now don't do it in a spammy type way, do it in a conversational tone. Leave comments on music industry type posts. Just be respectable with it. Even NLE Choppa used to spam comment sections back in the day before he blew up. You can also make some TikToks, you can make some Instagram videos. Another way to get some views and subscribers on your YouTube is to go on Twitch and kick. And sometimes streamers will take donations to listen to your music or play your video or whatever. So you could send them your music and they'll play it on their stream. And then if some people like it, they'll navigate to your channel. You can also submit music to Spotify's playlist. If they like your music, they will upload your music into a playlist. Organic traffic is cool. If people just find you randomly and like your music, that's great. But don't be that guy that just puts out music and thinks they're gonna blow up and people are gonna find them. You got to market yourself. So. 
in conclusion, have fun making music, practice, get good at making music, stay consistent, be unique, promote yourself, and you're on. You're on. That's it. It's not that deep, but it does take a lot of work. People either start dropping music too early, they're not that good yet, or their audio quality is not that good, or they drop once every three months, once every six months. Don't promote yourself. You gotta stay on top of everything. Be patient, work, and you got it. Anyways, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. Drop some comments down below if you guys have anything to add to this video. What's your opinion on it? Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace.